Well, Early Wonders was a series, that, again, that my brother-in-law created. And the, Mark Marston, same uh, one. Uh, and they put together a rather good writing staff. On Waverly Wonders. For the Waverly Wonders. Uh, but that kind of wasn't all that it needed, and it, it did not make it. One of us, John Rappaport, got hired on the MASH, and they were looking for other writers to bring in. He mentioned us and Dennis Koenig. Uh, well, so it was the staff of the Waverly the Wonders. The entire staff of this really bad NBC show winds up We wound up, We were MASH. We no. were, mm -hmm. The crown jewel of CBS. And exactly. We had to write a script. We had to audition. We had to write a script, which we ended up writing, for whatever reason or reasons, about half of it overnight. Um, but you know, we turned it in, and Bert Metcalf, the exec producer, and you know the club better than I do. Well, what I, what I remember vividly is we, we worked out the story with the two exec producers, one of whom was John Rappaport, the other was Jim Mulligan, who, and Jim didn't bring any people in to support him, so John had his team and Jim didn't have a team. Mm -hmm. But we worked out a story with them that I knew didn't work and wasn't very good. But we, the premise was good. The premise was Hot Lips Houlihan is accused of being a communist. Uh, and we handed it in with a story that didn't quite work and waited. Uh, we had an offer on the table from Alice. Yes. That we were, we were all waiting to hear from MASH because that was the one we would certainly prefer. Because we'd written a script on Alice. And, and the word came back that Bert Metcalf had read it and said, well, the story is nonsense, but they're really good writers. Yeah. I've thanked him many times for having me <laughs> inside.